Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Alonso, and welcome back to a new video for the channel. In today's video, uh, we're gonna be using a placeholder API for some things you're going to see uh, soon. And before we start, I would like to say something. If you see that I'm using maybe uh, methods with long names, it's because of uh, I don't want you to confuse maybe later when you try to recreate your, the code here. It's just for teaching purposes. So if you can use maybe um, list one, object one, or whatever, you can use it. It's up to you. But uh, this is a tutorial video um, I'm, I'm trying to make things clear so you don't make mistakes later when you try to copy the code okay so uh, as I said we're gonna be using uh, placeholder API for different things the first one will be a uh, uh, message the join message okay we're gonna be using the prefix and my player name using placeholder API not using player get name Okay, uh, so yeah, let's start with it. Event handler. Um, let's listen to player join event, public void on join or whatever. Player join event. It get player. It will be my player. Um, let's create the message here new message uh, let's say the message will be for example uh, maybe mm, admin alonso has joined the server like uh, most of the join plugins use or does or do um, so uh, we need to replace here with uh, with our placeholder keep in mind that you have a lot of placeholders using placeholder API but I'm gonna be using in this case for the prefix I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be using uh, the vault prefix because uh, I'm currently using loop perms and loop perms uh, allows you to use this placeholder here vault prefix it will display my current prefix and I'm gonna be using for the name player name those are uh, placeholders from placeholder API so let's give it a bit of color here uh, I'm gonna be using gold here and gold here too okay so now this is a string we need to uh, register the the placeholders I mean we need to say the place we need to set the placeholders to do that we're going to use a placeholder API set placeholder we're going to use or select the player and we're going to use the string we have here so it now should uh, replace all known placeholder into this this string okay so now we have the the placeholder replaced but it doesn't have color it will show this character so we're gonna set the new join message chat color to give it a color and let's do what I'm sure you already know so it will display uh, this message with my prefix and my player name in game with color it should be working right now okay so let's register the class here get server get playing manager register event this employee in. don't forget to initialize the class new C O N and this and don't forget also to add the plugin as a depend depend placeholder API so uh, oh I forgot to implement listener here listener so this should be working now and we'll also be 
creating our own placeholders. Okay, so let's create a method here so it's not too long. Create or no register placeholders. Placeholders. We're creating a new method here, and we can now say, for example, placeholder API register. Yeah, register placeholder hook. We need to choose a name. In this case, we're going to use the source code plugin. And we need to use new placeholder hook. We need to implement both methods here. The first one will be for uh, offline player, and the second one will be for uh, online player. I tested before, and I don't know why, but when I try, when I was trying to get I mean to use a placeholder for my player uh, when I'm online it returns uh, what was here so I'm gonna add this one here if player is not null and player is online it means that the player is online so it's not an um, offline player anymore so let's return and let's run the method below Mm -mm -mm. P and the same params. Yeah, I think so. No, I need to use get player. Yeah, if I can get the player. Otherwise, it will return no. I'm not gonna be using in this case uh, offline player. But just to give you an example, if for example you have a plugin that loads information from the uh, for the player when they join the server, for example. If the player is connected to the server, it means that the information is loaded. So you can, maybe for example, I don't know, maybe uh, if you have the information in a map, maybe a hash map, maybe a list, whatever, you can use it directly from there. Map get whatever you you have there. But if the player is not connected, it means that you cannot use that. So that's why uh, you should use this method. You can, for example, get the information directly from the database, maybe a M YML file, or maybe an SQLite or MySQL server. You can get it from there because you know that the player is not online. Okay, so uh, if we're here, it means that the player is online, so we can, for example, um, let's make a check first, always. If player is null, we return null. And if the params is param means this, okay. Our placeholder will be the source code plugins, plugin, and this will be. So if we can have, for example, here a creator, maybe is flying, maybe is allowed to ban, maybe is mod, maybe is in staff mod, whatever. So we can use equal ignore case. In this case, I'm going to use creator. It will return my name, Alonso Aliaga. Or we can use playing get description get name. I remember, I don't get author. I remember well. If the request is maybe uh, is flying, we're going to return if the player is flying, we're going to return yes otherwise we'll return no okay and the last one keep in mind that this this code is read every time you request a placeholder to show you that i will sh i will make this if random user i'm gonna return a random user i'm gonna create a list here right now whoops a list here a string users and let's create a random list of names arrays list alonso2 I don't know maybe the source code peter revelation um, maybe another name the swag I don't know, 
the Swagger HD. Okay, so we have a list here with five items there, five strings inside. So we're gonna return a random one of them. Okay, so let's use get users get new random new random next int users get size size so it can return whatever uh, any of these names okay keep in mind that this will be random and this will be random every time we uh, request this 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 placeholder because everything here is read every time you request a placeholder it's like a new one so it doesn't save okay it's not saved so otherwise we'll return null because we don't request a valid placeholder so the last thing I'm gonna be doing is maybe uh, using something like for example uh, something uses statistics for broken blocks in pickaxes for example so let's do this on break let's listen to block break event e the same player player p is equal e that is player item stack the item i have in my hand item stack will be the item stack the player has in the inventory keep in mind that I can use item in hand item in main hand or item in of hand but I'm right now using the spigot 1.8.8 so I cannot use main hand so I'm gonna be using this one it's deprecated but it's still working if item stack is not null it means that if I have an item in my hand and if the item stack type is equal to material diamond pickaxe in this case so whatever so if I break a block with uh, a diamond pickaxe in my hand it will run this code so let's use item stack and get item meta item meta here meta it's equal to this one here I'm gonna change the name of the of the pickaxe. I'll set it to maybe mm -mm, the source card pickaxe. Pickaxe. Now I need to set the lore. I'm gonna create a new list for it. List string lore it's equal arise as list and I can add whatever I want here okay so let's say let's add for example uh, this pickaxe was forged by gods let's add a line here um, color red line here one more uh, what else can we add uh, okay let's use some of our placeholder let's use in this case random user and let's uh, color blue, um, yellow so we're going to use our placeholder, which is the source code plugin uh, random user. Another one here, we will we'll use is flying, and we're going to use uh, our uh, 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 our placeholder, which is the source code plugin is flying and let's add one more line and let's say for example uh, 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 
broken blocks it will be in color in gold and we're gonna use a placeholder API placeholder okay so it is a statistic statistic mine block and if for example we want to add something else we could actually use uh, diamond mm, ores broken diamond or ores so it will display uh, the, the number of diamond blocks we broke okay um, it will be in sky blue and let's use a statistic uh, mine block diamond or keep in mind that you can find all placeholder api placeholders in the official wiki so uh let's set the lore we need to replace all all here okay give me a moment so we're gonna use placeholder api set placeholder the player will be p and the lore will be the array we can use an array here or we can use a text here a string here so it's a matter and let's set the id meta ID meta right now it will appear without color because we didn't use a uh, translate color translate alternate color so I'm gonna create a quick method here to translate this one okay so um colorize or whatever colorize here and I'm gonna I have here an array a list so I'm gonna use returns list Mm, this is lambda okay so if you don't know how to do this okay you can use uh, colorize in every line here otherwise it will it would it, it can take too much time to do this so I'm gonna be using lambda um, map it will be the line um, mm -mm. chat color translate alternate uh, the character the line I want to translate and I'm gonna collect this one here uh, collection to list so now it should return all this all this uh, array all this uh, list I mean uh, it should return an array list or a list with all this string with uh, color translated sorry it should work okay so now uh, let's export this don't forget to initialize the class mm -hmm. so it should be working let's build this I register the class yeah I registered the event so it should be working now let's copy this one in our server and let's start the server here let's wait the server to start and we can now join the server okay here we are this were for the test I was making so I'm gonna take a new pickaxe right now. You know, for example, uh, this is empty. Okay, the, the pick, this uh, pickaxe is new. So if I, for example, break whatever, it should update. As you can see, a random user was generated. It's flying no because I'm not flying. It displays the broken blocks and the diamonds or I broke okay so if for example I enable game mode see and if I start flying and if I update the pickaxe it should set uh, it's flying yes if I disable 
this one it should says it's flying no okay so it's working keep in mind that a random name is generated also every time I break a block in survival mode yep a new name the same name was selected the same name was selected another name another name and another name so as you can see uh, those are random from our list the source cut so if we for example break a block here as you can see we have uh, 22 diamond ores broken and if we for example broke two more it says 24 we have right now uh, 875 uh, broken blocks and if I for example break one two and three it should now be uh, four more four more it was I don't remember well yeah I think we broke a uh, grass here right okay so now uh, yeah as you can see it is working uh, so yeah it's sh um, Please solder is working so we can use that for example maybe for a minigame we can use something like minigame our minigame name and maybe arena to display the arena uh, the player is in or maybe creator or maybe um, time play it or wins or loses or whatever okay so I as you can see also uh, here we have the join message if we log out and if we join again as you can see creator Alonso Aliaga has joined the server uh, right now I'm using look perms so that's why you see creator info and my prefix right now is create is creador Okay, it's creator but it's in Spanish so it displayed still there creator Alonso Liaga has joined the server so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video keep in mind that you can use these placeholders as you want as I said mini games uh, maybe for your playing maybe you have a, a staff playing so you can use staff Staff plugin or whatever, and staff mode. It can return true or false if the player is in staff mode or not, or maybe banish, or maybe is flying or whatever as we as we did. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really guys enjoyed the video. If you like, please hit the like button. And if you have new ideas for more for more videos, let me know in the comment section. I will be reading all of your, your comments there. And thanks so much for supporting our videos. And that's it. Uh, I see you in the next video. <laughs> bye bye.